wanted to take a quick, quick look at um, Garfield's Halloween Adventure, also known as Garfield in Disguise. Uh, this was a 1985 um, special. So this is once again one of those that I had never heard of, which as a kid I absolutely loved Garfield. I would have been nuts about this if I had discovered this Halloween special as a kid. Why it slipped past me once again, I, I don't know. Maybe I was just too busy being a kid and out trick-or-treating and enjoying Halloween. I, I honestly have no answer for that. Um, it was actually a rather enjoyable um, little show there. Um, this is one of the first Garfield specials to have been based off of original content, which uh, to me implies that other ones had been uh, based off of um, the prior existing comic strip. So uh, this was just pretty much just right new, right on the fly, just, just for you. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, there were no borrowed jokes from the comic strips, nothing like that. Um, so basically this one pretty much just opens up with Garfield sleeping in his cat box. For some kooky reason, the uh, television turns on and it's Binky the, the Clown. <laughs> Binky the Clown. And um, he's pretty much just talking about, hey, trick-or-treating's fun, let's do this. So Garfield's like, sure, free candy, I'm in. He pretty much recruits Odie because he wants double candy. Um, so Garfield decides to go as a pirate. Um, and of course, Odie uh, follows suit. And, um, you know, throughout the uh, trick-or-treating, I believe at some point in time, they do um, board like a, a smaller uh, rowboat um, just to cross a river, I guess, just because they're either wanting to check out like a different area, but they wind up at a uh, haunted house. So that's where more of the um, the Halloween-y type stuff happens and you do have um, a pirate type uh, ghost uh, fitting in with the theme. Uh, one of the things which I thought was actually very subtle, maybe even clever, was the fact that on the back of the little rowboat there was a little plaque with the name Carolyn on the back of it. Um, you know, obviously everyone knows naming a boat. Um, is a customary thing, but this was actually a reference to uh, the Garfield creator, Jim Davis. Carolyn was the name of his first wife, so I, I actually thought that was a charming little touch right there. Um, actually, this um, Halloween special itself, um, I found it very enjoyable. Um, there were quite a few laughable moments, and of course you do have Garfield just being his regular jerk self. Um, pretty much just being a total crud to, to Odie and of course Odie dealing with it because Odie's just you know one of those lovable guys that he's just a people pleaser um, but yes this one uh, as I've said I did find it very enjoyable that was pretty much my only regret was not having known about this or not having discovered this as a kid so once again it's this year apparently I was just all about um, discovering Halloween specials I missed uh, during my youth. So I guess I'm the one who's kind of taking the faux walk down memory lane um, this year, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, I don't know if it's a special that any of you are uh, familiar with or one of those that you had seen yearly, but I would definitely love to hear your thoughts on it. I don't know if um, Garfield does have any other um, types of Halloween specials, but uh, I would... Um, yeah, Halloween specials or just ho holiday specials in general. Um, but I would definitely love to um, to check those out. Um, but that is pretty much all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later.